U.S. President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi met with tech and industry leaders at the White House Friday, wrapping up three days of events during Modi's official state visit. Washington rolling out the red carpet for Modi as he and Biden hail a new era in their country's relationship. I've long believed that the relationship between the United States and India is one of the, will be one of the defining relationships of the 21st century. Defense is, uh, is definitely a key component of this visit. Michael Kugelman is the director of the Wilson Center's South Asia Institute. In the run-up to Modi's trip, he said fresh commitments from India and the U.S. would match all of the pomp, circumstance and symbolism accorded to a state visit, a trip that's aimed at countering China's global influence. China has been the main factor driving U.S.-India cooperation in recent years. Uh, that convergence, I would argue, has been crystallized over the last few years, given that both of these countries are seeing their interests um, impacted by China's growing power and influence in ways that they have not seen uh, ever before. The trip also billed as a turning point for bilateral relations with deeper cooperation in defense and tech sharing. Now, the United States has become one of our most important defense partners. During his address to a joint session of Congress Thursday, Modi said his nation and the U.S. were committed to deepening their friendship. Biden administration officials say sweeping agreements were made during several days of talks, including on semiconductors and critical minerals. Modi's visit, though, was not without controversy. This protest staged against alleged discrimination against minorities, including Muslims, under Modi's government. The only two Muslim women members of Congress, Representatives Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, along with Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, separately said they would boycott Modi's address to Congress, citing the allegations of abuse of minorities, especially Muslims. AOC tweeting earlier this week, I encourage my colleagues who stand for pluralism, tolerance and freedom of the press to join me in doing the same. Melissa Duggan, City News.